वेलकम टू आउटिंग जर्नल एंड जस्ट नाउ गो टू टेक आउट माई मार्क्स एंड एन माई लवली मुस्ताश आई हैव टू शेव बाय द वे वेन आई गो टू दूपर मार्केट द रेजर आर आउट ऑफ स्टॉक आई डो नॉट अंडरस्टैंड वट दिस लोकल पीपल आर डूइंग इट द रेजर आई होप सो दे आर नॉट गोइंग शेविंग दैट काइंड ऑफ हेयर एंड देन नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टेस्ट विल्ट्रॉस ट्वेंटी थ्री मिलीमीटर एफ वन पॉइंट फोर जिस लेंस इज फॉर माई चाइनीज कंपनी आई फोटो ना जेपनीज कैमरा Can you really vlog with a 23 mm f1.4? First, I'm going to handle, and second, I'm going to use a. Now, I mean, a selfie stick. Do not think what you are thinking, you dirty mind, pervert. Anyway, let's let's get started on a light or not. So, uh, so this is how I'm going to vlog. As you can see, I'm hold handling this camera like this, or I can I can close the screen and I can handle the camera also like this. So, so for example, like this, I can handle, and then I can keep talking, keep. Talking. Or I can install a selfie stick. Example like this. Let me just install a selfie stick. This is the Ulanzi MT16. Yes, Ulanzi did not send me. I bought it for my own money for twenty US dollar on Amazon, and I can do like this. So, uh, I think it is going to be somewhere like around. 30 cm right uh, 35 cm the length around 35 cm the length but it's very flimsy i cannot trust this one this lens is around 300 g with the hood and and uh, this one is uh, let me just install the hood okay i mean i'm going to install the hood because there's the sun is quite bright let me just install the hood okay come on so the hood is on and then i'm going to vlog like this let me just tighten it i really do not want my camera to uh, fall down Yeah, like this. So now jump to me. This is the Viltrox 23 mm IBIS. I'm using IBIS, no EIS. I'm holding from the grip, and then now let me show you how I can hold it from the lens. Now I'm holding from the lens 23 mm Viltrox 23 mm. By the way, I need to keep my marks ready. I do not want to have a fine with my work marks went. I lost my marks. No, he, the mark, my marks is here. Today is super bright. I'm in China. Uh, Will talk 23 millimeter. How good is the focus? Can can how good is the close distance? C can you see my nose here? Yeah, I'm handling 23 millimeter. 23 millimeter f 1.4. Right now I'm at f 4. Yes, I'm at f 4. The downside of Fujifilm XS10 is the shutter speed. The mechanical shutter speed only go up to 4000. I love Olympus EM5 Mark III. It go up to 8000. Right now in 2021, I do not understand why camera release in last five years do not have a mechanical 8000 shutter speed. Let me let me lower the aperture to f 1.4. So yeah, now the aperture is at 1.4. We'll talk 23 millimeter f 1.4. How good is the bokeh? Let me increase to f 2. So right now is f 2. Increase to f 2.8. Now it's the s f 2.8. If you're thinking to use the 16 millimeter f 2.8, you need to remember still the we'll talk 23 millimeter at f 2.8 is going to give you more bokeh, more uh, more image uh, compression due to the focal length. So 23 millimeter f 1.4. The aperture is 1.8. Let me just go down to the f4. Let me just increase to f8. F8. So this is f8. So how good is the focus? Is everything is in focus or not? Is everything in focus? Okay. I think so. I'm in focus. I have no idea. I hope so. I'm in focus. Is I'm focused, and now I am. Now I'm using the selfie stick. Yes, let me just install use the selfie stick. Now I'm using the Ulanzi M. Uh, now I'm using the Ulanzi MT16 F8. Let me go to F1.4. We are at F1.4 ISO 160 shutter speed 4000. Yes, shutter speed 4000. Let me just do. So right now I'm only using the OIS, no EIS. So if we are if we are going to use a EIS on a 23 millimeter, let me do some math. Okay, 23 times 1.5 is going to become a sorry no 23 millimeter times 1.1. There is a 1.1 crop. It will become a 25.3 millimeter uh, APS-C focal length. Yeah. So I'm holding the Ulanzi selfie stick. So you need to be the judge. How good is it? 
the Ulanzi selfie stick is going to give you a lot of shake. It's not stable to be honest with you. I think so. I need to invest in a better selfie stick. If you want a vlog like Gordon with two hands like this, like I mean the focal the minimum focus distance is somewhere 30 centimeter. It's super bright as you can see. The sun is really very bright. F1.4 shutter speed around 4000 ISO 160. I'm using the standard uh, uh, standard film simulation. I'm using the Provia standard simulation. So yeah, how good is the video quality? And then I can see a uh, camera heat warning. I, because today is very hot, it's around 38 Celsius. So now, right now, before my camera is going to shut down, I'm going to turn on na EIS. So right now, I'm handling the camera Fujifilm 23mm f1.4 with IBIS and EIS. There's a 1.1 crop which turned the 23mm lens into a 25mm. This is totally handheld. And then now, let me use the selfie stick. I mean, the selfie stick is quite wobbly. I mean, I mean, just you need to be just where the uh, focus box, yeah. The focus is a little bit crappy on the Fujifilm X10. Let me be be honest with you. If, if this is a face detect, Panasonic full frame S5 is much better with a with with a contrast. I mean, at the focus. I mean, why in the goodness of heaven we need to like use a joystick to bring the box on our face if there's a face detect. So right now I'm holding the camera with the grip. Again, you see I'm losing the focus. I know it's a 1.4 aperture. Okay, now I'm going to let, so this is, I don't know what's going on, come on. So yeah, this is I'm holding with the grip. And let me just hold it from the selfie stick. How good is the auto focus? And how good is the EIS and destabilization? Fuji Film Access 10. Let me just increase the aperture to f2. So yeah, this is the f2 aperture. How good is the stabilization? How good is the EIS? I'm trying my best to walk steady. Yeah. So you need to be the judge how good is everything and how good is the auto focus is I'm focusing or not. Okay. I think we're overexposed right now it's better right I think we are a little bit overexposed now it's better let me bring the box on my face so yeah so I really have to get an ND filter really I have to get ND filter Fujifilm XS10 f1.4 EIS plus IBIS how good it is to me seems quite good again you need to be the judge Make sure to click that like button. Bye.